Hey guys, hey, 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 hey. So guess what? Tonight, the first ever syndicated TV series is coming to Uganda and NTV is definitely proud to be associated with that. Remember Second Chance? Where there was this guy, beautiful man, Salvador, with like 10 packs up to his head and uh, ladies wanted to be with him, men wanted to be like him. In fact, he was one of my inspiration for going to the gym. Trying, you know, one day, one day it will come. <laughs> one day it will come. So this is premiering tonight on NTV at 8 o'clock. Second chance, Uganda. Telemundo has given the go-ahead for us to do this. So we are actually sneaking onto the set of Second Chance UG. So come with me. The actors do not know what is happening. They are still filming even in the mix of this. So come. Hey, so these are some of the guys on the crew. Hey man, this is the life. This is how you work? <laughs> yeah. This is how you've been working? Yeah. Ah, when I grow up, I want to be like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> ah, let me just go here. So how are you guys? Good. Good. Cool. How are you? How is the experience? Right. Yeah. What, what do you play in, in, in the series? Uh, in the series, actually, I'm Antonio. And, ah! I think when Antonio, like, you know, yeah. <laughs> it's Andre. Alright, so those two guys are, you know, chilling out. Probably they are not shooting. So we're going to go again, sneak up on the other crew. Remember, this is the first ever a syndicated TV thing. You know, I see the gym here. They had to do this, you know, get a location that is beautiful, room, had to look for the room. Um, you know some of those houses, posh houses, so this is the location that they selected. This is gorgeous, man. Uh, okay, hold on, just hold on. Hello! Hey! hey. hey. <laughs> so we finally caught up with the crew. They didn't have a clue that we're coming. Oh, yeah. Ah! See? <laughs> yes. Ah! Uh, I think they probably thought I'm one of the new characters, you know. Yes, right? Yes. And now, uh, see? He thought so. And clearly, I am not, uh, I don't have six pack yet for this thing. But, uh, hey, we are here and, uh, how are you guys? Yeah. Excited? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> it's a surprise, right? Yeah. I actually thought you just came to, I don't know. After that, we're all Yeah, I'm Okay. <laughs> Super busy right now. So you thought I was the new guy, right? Yes. So so okay. <laughs> You don't have anyone to ask that role? Well? Mm. I was about to ask, is he in Latigo? I was about to say, I was going to say, well, this cast Latigo. I don't know in Latigo, like Latigo. So if, if, if I were to get a part in the role, which which role do you think I'm fit? First, let me first give you like my star. Walter, huh? Wait. Uh, Walter? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. wait. Huh? I, I, Make an exception. No, yes. Right? Is Latigo the cool guy or the. Or is he the drunkard? Jesus Christ! <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you feel acting like the, 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 the woman who everyone loved to hate? Powerful. I love <laughs> I think we share that in common. <laughs> Don't they just love to the hate? character resonates with some parts of your yes. life. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Minus the old man. I don't know about that. <laughs> 
Okay. But you know, you you just grow to love Peter. He's mm-hmm. so amazing. Mm-hmm. Such a good man. Right. Has mm-hmm. has been the experience. I it's, know it's it's you know just the pressure just replicating the character. It's 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 a a big deal for me. Of course, there are moments when you're like. Am I doing it right? Am I doing her justice? Mm-hmm. Am I, you know, am I pulling this off? But you stop doubting yourself and you just do it. As long as you're having fun and you're happy, it will work out. Right. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. every girl, <laughs> every girl needs an Andre and a Salvador. <laughs> you need one. You need at least one. Yes. Uh-huh. See, it gets actually... really steamy that they need to like, you know, aircon needs to happen outside. <laughs> Everybody needs to find themselves. Yes, we shall give you guys everything you think you're going to get. Excited mm-hmm. and uh, fulfilled. That's what I feel, mm-hmm. and I'm excited on behalf of the audience. Right. Because they should be waiting for something great, and this is one of the surprises that is going to come out. I want to show people that I'm not one thing only, yeah. and even out there, nobody is only one thing. Yeah. They can be anything. I'm a dramatist. I'm a sportsman. I am a writer of books. I am a parenter. I am an educationist. I'm a banker. Mm-hmm. I am a business person. Right. So that's the surprise. But it is only illustrating that if we, all of us use our talents well, we can grow even greater. Because I last acted, really seriously acted, around 1989. Wow. I've been acting since na- when I was in senior two at Luvidi Secondary School. And that's around 1960, 64, 65. Mm-hmm. So I've been acting. So even now, when people see, I mean, when my director, the film, the film director, is telling me instructions. I look at them like a director because I have a master's in drama and theater arts, really? specializing in uh, uh, playwriting and directing, mm-hmm. which I got at Leeds University. And many people do not know that. Yes. Are you getting me? Yes. So I am very easy to direct. I follow the instructions and I do my part with the proper interpretation because of the long time experience. Mm-hmm. Although most of my time I've been on the stage acting on the stage. Yeah. I was among the first people to act a, a TV series, the City Game by Noah Sentongo in the 1970s, <laughs> you know, before some of the audience were born. <laughs> I'm the loudest speaker. <laughs> I'm the hoofer. <laughs> and when it comes to the Lugambo around, it's me, yours truly, Vicky. Yeah. Every Lugambo. All get it from her. Yeah, in the meanwhile, I'm the oldest broom in the house. So I, the I know each and everything who is vibing who, who <laughs> is cheating on who, who I know each and everything. And I'm the supplier, cause supply. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm very, very disorganized. Like, my character is funny. Right. Yeah, you know, I'm that disorganized person. Like, I'm free with everyone. I love these people. I love my department. But when you bring your word up on me, I also show you that I'm from Chiboga. Meanwhile, I, I read that I'm supposed to be 45 years old. That woman from Chiboga, Tasaga. She shows you what's up. I was uh, a news anchor for deception. Really? Yes, you didn't see my face. I think I appeared there like once. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they threw. Ah, like, like they exactly. Throw. Thank you. And but so many people watched it and they actually saw it, so they were like, "Hey, joy, joy." I'm like, "Yeah, yeah." But this one, they're going to be like, "Hey, joy, joy." I'm going to be like, "No." I'm like, <laughs> I think I'm the sharpest maid in the house. Uh, I'm also calling out for all my fans, my Facebook fans, by Sharon Bianca, yeah. Twitter. Everywhere, all corners, Kabale Mbarara, Abachiga, Morinka, Mwisho Tchirebe. And like... They play Nina. 
Isabel's mother, a wicked woman. <laughs> you don't look wicked. Thank you. Which is actually what is exciting about this whole role. Uh-huh. Just trying to be, you know, somebody else. When I came in the beginning, it was quite intimidating because everyone was a star. And then I noticed that they were actually just normal people. Very relaxed, very comfortable. Uh, they helped me feel comfortable and relaxed. So it was nice. It's, it's a good feeling. I don't know how to explain it. You know, one of those things where you're very happy and excited to be around this group. And then you're like, oh my goodness, who am I? That I can actually also be a part of this country. That, that's your entrance, and Ganyana's exit is here. Huh? Where is that girl coming from? What? Abigail. She's coming from here, so we've got a junction here. Everything is happening. Yeah. No, no, you just open. Yeah, from outside. It will work. Do you know when you just read some of the pages people are already criticizing, as a director, how does that make you feel for a project that people have not even yet seen? Doesn't that affect you, you know, when you're doing this? I've been in this business quite long enough to know that this will always come. Guess what? Made in Manhattan, people were criticizing Jennifer Lopez for what the role she does. She's just a diva. How can she be in the kitchen? But it won awards, right? Yes. Now, if they can start criticizing that, how about this? Right. Now, we've got a debt to pay. This is the faith that some people have given put in us mm-hmm. to do this and we're trying to be truthful and making sure that we live up to that. Mm-hmm. So the criticism we appreciate and we welcome with open arms and let's see how it goes. Right. At the end of the day, the viewer is the judge. It cannot be me, it cannot be my team, it cannot be my cast. It's just a viewer like yourself, so yeah. you're going to be judging the right way. So we've seen most of the crew and they are getting ready. There's lots of action here, so much silence though when they are shooting. And I see, I see, I think he must be Simon. Oh, well, at least when I saw the promo. That's it. Yes, Simon, come over here. <laughs> the man is in his real character. <laughs> What's up, man? What's up, Brian? How you doing? Real, real good. How does this feel for you? <sighs> like Simon was the, the crazy kid who, who was everywhere, you know. <laughs> It's crazy, man. I'm trying to like get out of my skin and get this wild, you know, do crazy things with this bike. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, so it's exciting. Are you naturally quiet? I'm not exactly quiet because, I mean, I'm, I'm an extrovert. I talk too much. I work in media, so uh-huh. it's easy for us to rant and talk all the time. Yeah. But I feel like this character is getting me to a different place, you know. I, I may be more wordy. Now I have to be as physical as I am wordy. This by far is my biggest project. You know, one, it's, it's rest assured premiering. <laughs> it's, going to, it's going to happen. <laughs> yes, that, that's the given. So it's one of my biggest. And I mean, it's a great cast. People like Fajil, you know. Right. He did projects as far as the 1960s, what, 64. 60s, you know. Yeah. Oh, know. He actually told me he was one of the very first actors to be on film, on TV, in a series that ever went on television. Yes. And we don't have material like that archived now. So it's great being on a set with him. I, I mean, think own day, it's, it's brilliant. It's a really, really brilliant project. Right. Yeah. Awesome, man. Uh, you know what? Just a, a little bit is what we give you. Yes. And uh, uh, right away, my friend. Matt, right for, away. Sure, for sure, for right sure, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it. The cast and crew of Second Chance UG right here at their location. It is a beautiful house. I must tell you that. The owner we shall not disclose. But make sure you catch it tonight at 8 p.m. on NTV. There you go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> clumsy, but still gets the job done anyway. My name is Brian Mlondo for Second Chance Uganda. Bye bye.